Welcome to GFT News, I'm Paul Sri Hamtuk One Furcon so far has moved to next year. Furry Summer Mexico recently announced their move to 2021, just one month before its physical Furcon on the 21st of November. Their new dates are in July 2021 from the 23rd to 25th. With that, you have a total of 88 cancelled, 1 deferred, 3 to hold this year, and 28 physical Furcons completed. More fur cons are starting to go virtual in the year end. Here are some updates on virtual fur events. Midwest Fur Fest announced Thursday a virtualized fur con live streaming from the 18th to 20th of December. Applications for panels, DJs, and dance competitions are currently open. To the West, Anthro Northwest announced a one day long VR convention taking place on the 26th of December. Running from 10 a.m. to midnight local Seattle time, which is 1 a.m. to 3 p.m. Singapore time. Into Asia, Infernity has held their virtual edition Saturday on the 31st of October. Themed Summer, the one day long furcon live stream panels, music performances, and screenings of various furry short films on their Twitch channel and VR chat worlds at the same time. The RVR chat venue will stay open after the event. As the pandemic ensues and outdoor restrictions are still in place, virtualized events and venues quickly became the new norm. From recreations of real-life venues to memorials, here in the furry ofrenda, the memories of furries who passed away in the fandom are preserved virtually. Uh, well, it, it came from my roommate, uh, Mark Molino, one of the earlier founders of the fandom, um, got really moved by the Disney movie Coco, and he decided to build an ofrenda for PawCon. We got permission to put it outside of the dealer's room, and people added to it, and it was very beautiful. There was no park on this year due to the state of the world. Um, we decided to try and build it here. Originally, it was going to be just the photos he had put in there of the older furries. Um, but since it's a world in VR, we have more space than we would normally. So I started trying to find as many people as I could to add from the fandom. We got, uh, gathered around 185 people, and with the help of Brain Freeze, who got involved in this project, we pulled together very short biographies, information about the people, um, and we just expanded it from there. We decided to kind of make this an ongoing project and, and memorialize as many people in the fandom as we could. Um, it's a good reminder uh, and a celebration of uh, the people in our community uh, around the world, really. That's all for JFTV News, broadcasting every Monday at 10 p.m. Singapore time. More furry news, visit our website globalfurrytv.news.blog or listen to our podcast station, GFTV Podwave. Have a great and wonderful Sophie day.